what is up guys, I am 63Z and you would have seen that I have a haircut if you have watched any of the Titan Pool videos. That looks fucking weird. The light on that just makes it look like the hair's not even there, holy crap. Anyway, so, I'm back and this is a very special vlog today because I've had this thing for two years. Two years, I'm always an Xbox person, I'll always be an Xbox person, I'm not getting rid of Xbox, that's for sure. What I am doing is so my Xbox used to be in this hole right here, right in this little section there. And though I have my my computer, right? I still play my Xbox. What I'm doing today is I'm trading in my Xbox. All its components that came with it originally, as well as its whole like packaging, and three games that I will never play again. Destiny, Dragon Age Inquisition, and the Atlas Limited Edition of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I'm trading in all those three. I'm gonna get the new Xbox One S, as well as Skyrim and Gears of War 4. So you're going to see that today, and then I'm going to set up the new one, unbox it all for you today, and we'll just have a look at it. So that's what this video is going to be. It's not going to be a very long video, it's just what's going to happen. So I hope you enjoy. This is very special for me. I just, um, I just packed it all up, and I moved all the stuff that's on the hard drive on this thing onto my hard drive over here. You might see it. Right there. 2 terabyte, and we're going to get the new Xbox One S. So it's been an hour since you have seen me, but you wouldn't have known that because it's only been in like a minute or so. So I went up to EB Games and I did the trade-in. I have a level 3 EB World Cup which gives me an extra 15%, an extra 15, 555% trade-in value. And, you know, it works in this situation, it works. I'm close to being level 4 though, which I believe is the highest. But I traded in my 500 gig Xbox, which I've had for over two and a half years now, just like six months after the Xbox One actually came out. And I traded that in with Advanced Warfare Special Edition, um, Destiny in Dragon Engine Position. So, because I traded in my 500 gig Xbox and three games. I traded in Advanced Warfare Special Edition, as you might have just heard me saying that month. I tra um, traded in Destiny as well as Dragon Age Inquisition, as well as the 500 gigabyte Xbox. Everything intact, controller, headset, like the little crappy heads that you get with it, all that kind of stuff. Although I did keep my, um, I did keep my Xbox Live Gold trial. I'm not showing you the code so no one can steal it. But I have like four of those things plus a 14 day trial, so that is a good idea. This is a 14 day trial. This is a 14 day trial for Xbox. First person to like this video, screenshot it, send it to me on Twitter, I'll DM you the code, and this is yours. 14 days for free. For free. So, I have now got Skyrim. I was going to get it the other day, but I was like, no, I probably won't buy it on its own because it, I don't think it's really worth it. And I'm glad I didn't, because I just put all the money from that onto Dishonored, so I didn't worry about it. I also got Gears of War 4. That's right. Gears of War 4. Plus the new Xbox One S console in blue. So, and it's 500 gigabytes as well, so it doesn't really make too much of a difference space wise. But I got that all for $190. It was originally $398, but I traded in Connect Sensor, the Xbox, plus those three games I said before, and got it that cheap. So I'm keen, and I'm going to set this up now, and I'll try and see if I can show me setting it up. Yeah. Also, in the Elder Scrolls thing, this came with it for Elder Scrolls Online. Like in Skyrim, this came with it. I don't have Elder Scrolls Online, so if anyone wants this, go ahead. It's all yours. My Gears of War 4. As well as another 14 day trial. Whoop whoop, yeah. If you think I should also do this one, let me know. I also have this guy, Gears of War 4. I, I, I wanted to see how it works, like going with between Xbox and PC. That's something I'm really interested in trying out, because that's cool as fuck. Here is the console itself, I'm not going to do that just quite yet. My HDMI cable.
and my controller. Yeah, boy. That looks sweet as fuck. Fully blued controller. Come on, open up. Open up. Open up. Oh, it gave me a couple batteries as well. Well, I use the energizer thing, so let's see how it looks with the energizer thing on this back. I don't think it will look as good. It just looks like it has a black spot on it now. I'm not going to be looking at the underside a lot anyway, so. Sweetness. Oh, and there's the power cable. Is that long enough? I don't know if this is long enough. Oh, that's long enough actually. That's long enough. A uh, big part of Well, actually, this guy's meant to be like 75% of the size of the original Xbox. As well as have a lot less power usage. Plus, I like the fact that the battery pack is no longer on the outside, it's on the inside of the console. So, I'm gonna look away. I'm even gonna turn the viewfinder away. I'm turning the viewfinder away so I can't even see it right now. So, I'm looking straight in the camera, as you can tell. I haven't even looked at it yet. Oh, nothing's broken, please. Please, nothing be broken. Okay, well, it feels nice and intact. And ready? I'm gonna reveal it. I'm gonna look at it. In person, with my own eyes. Three, two, one. Ah! It's so cool! Look at you! I don't need this sticker on here. Get back. Oh, it's so cool. What's this button for? Is that a restart button? Because the controller button's dead. Okay, there's a button on the front. That makes that nice and easy. Okay, I knew it wouldn't work with the connection. That was one thing I did know. Sweetness. See, I wouldn't even use half of this stuff. Like, I'll use... A HDMI, wait, HDMI TV and a USB port on the back, the power supply, because all the times I might use an Ethernet cord, if that, and then I'll use the USB port on the front of my headset. That is sick, and it's so much smaller. That looks clean as fuck. Hell yeah. Ah, oh, my feet are getting sore. However, if I ever do decide to trade this in for the Xbox Scorpio and that thing comes out, I'll leave you guys. There. And I'll, I don't think I need you anyway, so guess you can go. Which means I will no longer need this, but I'll still keep onto it just for another month. In case no one uses it, then I'll use it myself. I got this with the Skyrim thing as well, so that's gonna find a spot on my wall somewhere. I don't know where just quite yet, but I will find somewhere for it. This is the world of Skyrim. Once again, for this guy, if you did not get it already, and if it's not taken already, there is the code. Go right ahead. Fuck off, oh, you're so slow. Oh my god, this is properly coiled, holy shit. Fuck's sake. Sounds like something from the fucking 80s, Jesus. Probably shouldn't be doing that in case I drop it. So now I've taken it all out and put in all the cords and everything like that. I have set the controller up, the awesome new blue controller, to hook up to the console and take up so much less room as you can see. Like it took up to like that, up to this corner here and across and down. Um, takes up, and because there's no notches on all the cords back there, it doesn't mess mess with the uh, mess with, mess with the hole. Sorry, the music in the background. Um, it reaches nicely with a little bit of slack, so it should be good. As well as I've got the update going for the console, it has not taken too long. It's been stuck on 246 for like a good 20 seconds or so though. It smashed through all of that in like about a minute. Like it was going, my internet was going real fast. Part way into finishing the setup. So I'll get back to you guys in a minute and we'll have a look at it. Yeah, I love you.
as this is all installing at the moment, because I've got Gears of War installing now, I just did Skyrim. It's just a matter of I want to finish doing them. I'll be playing through Skyrim. I won't be recording that. I really won't be because it's a lot to record and I honestly don't know what I'd really do on it. Everything is already known. It's just for the nostalgia effect for a lot of people. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. I would say that the Xbox One S is awesome. Everyone has their own opinion. I think it's worth it. Considering the fact the price that I got it at, it was definitely worth the price that I got it at. Considering I got rid of three games that I was just never going to play again. I barely ever played it. Um, Advanced Warfare, I played a fair bit, but that was because at the time I liked COD a lot more than I did now. As well as the fact that the Xbox, I didn't really need an Xbox One and an Xbox One S as well. My brother has an Xbox One and I have an Xbox One S. So there's no real point in having a second Xbox One um, unless my dad was going to buy it off me, which I really doubt he would have. But other than that, I think it's worth it. It's up to you guys. I think it looks awesome just sitting there. I think it looks awesome sitting there. It takes up so much less space. Which is an, a very nice thing, and the controller for me, I always like a new controller. Plus, Skyrim is 80 bucks here, as well as Gears of War 4, so... I think actually Gears of War 4 is it's like 70, I think. So, it was 150 for those two games on their own, um, and I only ended up paying 190. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. That's been my unboxing of the Xbox One the S. Uh, this video will probably go out sometime soon. I've got... I finished all of the Titanfall uh, campaign, that should all be out by now. Actually, it is all out by now because I already uploaded it all. There's vlogs to come and there's games to come. Keep in tune with everything, stay subscribed, go to my Twitter if you want the 14 day gold trial. If you want the Elder Scrolls DLC though, just go right ahead and take it. The first person to get that is whatever. If you can screenshot that you liked this video, and send it to me on Twitter. Uh, I'll DM you, first person to do it, I'll DM them the um, 14 day trial. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Here we go. Don't you think for anyone, like, 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 being real and honest is yeah, no, no, you gotta speak to even if it is. We're just chilling, what's the movie, movie. Yeah. 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 Because if it's something that you just feel important, it's all true to you. Like, if I say, you